The house repainting challenge is on in Anambra State. This is just a quick reminder. And there uh, we are in the day four of the challenge. It started 1st of February 2024. And uh, we decided to move down to uh, a queer mess square. You know, this is the uh, approach road from uh, Aroma Junction down to a Puyeme Square. And, uh, you know, we saw some developments going on inside a Puyeme, and uh, we are going to bring you the details of, uh, you know, the looks of that Puyeme Square. You know, all this while we've been passing Equeme Square and be visiting the government house and the road construction site. So, but today we decided to peep in into the Anes Equeme Square and uh, have a look of exactly what is going on there. And uh, I bet you that um, that may not be what you expected. But we are going to give you the details of everything you need to know. Thank you. So let's uh, proceed to a Pueme Square. But as we are moving along the approach road from uh, Aroma Junction, some things we noticed, you know, that uh, we feel that we need to bring it into the limelight. Yes, this area is a, a walkway area, though the drainage is quite open one, but the drainage is very unkept. You know, grasses have taken over uh, pure water sachet, bottle waters, and the uh, rest of them. They have taken over the drainage, including sand. So the attention of uh, people in charge of this axis should come towards this way. Even the walkway cannot be used freely. You can see trees have already blocked the walkway. That uh, we have to move out on the road and then uh, come back towards the walkway so but the issue there is that the walkway is uh, very unkept and there uh, is not attractive and it made people not to be using it so that is it and then uh, the most important aspect of this uh, house repenting challenge that is on now in anambra state uh, there are three criteria that uh, you're going to use in assessing any street one is the uh, the house repenting according to the color code so it means that there are color codes that streets are supposed to use to repent their houses secondly the drainage clean drainage and the clean environment you can see that this place is quite uh, unkept and is not clean well um this is the opportunity to you know bring it to the knowledge of uh, people involved to come and clean their environment as uh, i said earlier i know that uh, after this time that will elapse that's from 1st of february to 10th of march when it elapses, i am sure that the government of anambra state is going to upgrade what measures they are going to use to ensure that people comply to this uh, all important uh, you know upgrading of our cities and anambra state as a whole so but also i need to mention the other third criteria to assess you know the streets that uh, will score the highest uh, score the third area is uh, the area of um, tree planting you know, there are recommended trees that uh, streets should plant so these are the three criteria to be used in assessing the streets that will come first second and third then the first prize we have 10 million naira second prize 5 million third prize 3 million and like I said, the challenge is going to expire on the 10th of March, 2024. Then uh, we want to use this medium to inform our viewers 
that uh, in case if you see any street that is complying that have started complying with the directive of the state government you know you can alert us so that we pay a visit to that area to you know uh, broadcast that street what they are doing it will serve as a kind of a uh, encouragement to others that are yet to do their own so that is it let's proceed Yes, we are going to enter inside the Equipment Square to have a detailed look of this square. This is the first time that we are visiting this place and uh, we are glad to come into this place for the first time. Majorly, when uh, state activities are happening, the government usually bring them here as the venue. So, this is the main place that the activities of the state usually take place in Anambra State, Oka, capital city. Yes, uh, we can see that uh, this environment is quite neat and uh, organized. You know, it's just some few uh, places uh, need to be well tidy. And uh, there is a kind of uh, repainting work, uh, renovation work that is going on inside the square. So um, let's keep moving around while you enjoy the video. So I got closer to this monument here and uh, I discovered uh, an inscription written on it to get more information concerning this place that we visited as a Lesequeme Square. And uh, I take a closer look at the monument and I saw is a military person that raised uh, his gun up, you know, signifying something that has to do with uh, war and uh, conflict. So um, I decided to look around again and uh, having a mind to get closer to the written item so that i can read it very well to get more information about this place 
So I um, decided to turn around to look at the area before going closer to it once again. So upon getting closer to it, this is what is written in case if you don't see it very well. I was able to, you know, um, I got the information even though some were cleaning. So but it goes like this, dedicated to the glory of God. This monument is the symbolic burial site of all in the Ibu who lost their lives in different internecine. If I should pronounce that word very well, internecine, you know, internecine conflicts, wars, and pogroms, you know, in Nigeria. Our prayer would always be Ozo Emezina, never again. May their souls rest in peace, His Excellency Governor Anambra State, on Monday, January 12, 2015. That is exactly what is written there. So let's keep going around to explore this area. Thank you. Well, uh, the inside is very neat, probably um, Army or Armed Forces Remembrance Day just happened of recent, just about two weeks ago or so. So the place is still very fresh you know, and uh, quite attractive. But um, we are going to move around and uh, see the remaining part of this place while you keep enjoying this environment. Thank you. Yes, if you have not subscribed to Younger Life channel, please click on the subscription button, the notification bell, like this video and share this video. Please don't forget to drop your comments at the comment section. Thank you as you do that. Until I come your way next time, I'm still your presenter, Chinedu. I say bye for now. Mm -hmm.